Hey there, future business entrepreneurs. Welcome back to What's Your Game Plan? I'm Adela Passos, and today we're diving into an exciting topic, how to start your very own online power tool store. So grab your safety goggles and let's get started. Step one is to get a business plan. In the world of power tools, you won't want to be a one-size-fits-all kind of business. Are you focusing on DIY enthusiasts, professional contractors, or maybe industrial-grade tools? Get on Fiverr and get a professional to do your business plan. Just search for business plan writers and you'll be all set. Next, you need to decide on starting this business as a dropship company where you don't hold any inventory or go the self-fulfillment route, handling all the products by yourself. Dropshipping can be less of a hassle, but self-fulfillment gives you more control. It's your call. Finding dropship suppliers is pretty easy. Just go to Google and type in dropship power tools. If you'd rather manage the inventory by yourself, then you need to type in wholesale power tools. Once you've picked your suppliers, now they're going to ask you for a copy of your legal incorporation paperwork. In order to work with suppliers, you need to prove that you have a real business. So you need to register your business as an LLC and you need to get something called a retail merchant certificate, or sometimes it's called a reseller permit. And you can get this directly from your secretary of state's office. I like to use mycorp.com to do everything and make it official. Trust me, you don't want to skip this step and end up with faulty foundation. They offer startup packages that are priced just right and will get all of your legal incorporation paperwork done in under a week. Once you get the legal paperwork back, you need to set up a merchant account. This is how you'll accept payments. I recommend Square. It's free, it's easy to set up, and they offer free business checking accounts. Plus, it's really easy to use, so you can focus on your business instead of fiddling with payments. When you get the merchant account all set up, now you need to give that information to the website designer. For web hosting and domains, I highly recommend Bluehost. They make it super easy to get a website name and your hosting package. After you get the Bluehost details, go back to Fiverr and find a website designer to design your power tool store. Give them the supplier info, the Bluehost details, and your Square login info, and work with them on how you want your website to look. Most e-commerce websites can be designed in under three days. Next, you want your Power Tool store to stand out, right? Head on over to 99designs for some awesome logo and branding options. They've really got the best designers who can create something that screams, I'm ready to build. Give the logo and the branding design to the web designer on Fiverr, and now you're all set. Now it's time to spread the word. Use social media, email marketing, and maybe even some tool influencers to help drive traffic to your new website. The average tool shop startup can earn anywhere from around $50,000 to $100,000 per year. And startup costs for a dropship business can be as low as $500 while self-fulfillment method might set you back around 5,000. But remember, these are just averages. Your mileage may vary. And there you have it, a foolproof plan on how to start your own power tool store online. Oh, and before you go, I'm giving away my marketing strategy book series for free. Just head on over to my website, enter in your email address, and I'll send it to you right away. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what kind of business you're planning to start next. Thanks for watching What's Your Game Plan, and I'll see you next time. Happy selling!